Hi guys, we got a new legendary bounty mission, Philip Carlier. This is actually a really interesting bounty. Uh, unlike any that we've had before, this mission ended up being about 15 or 16 minutes in total, and I cut the video down because I hate making videos longer than they need to be. So if you haven't seen the trailer or the cutscene for it, I will be back with you guys at about the two minute mark. Mr. Philip Carlier. I don't know where to start with this one. I remember when his poster first went up. Mild-mannered, they said. Well, they all are, until they ain't. I might have even looked for him too, but none of us could find him. It sounds like they spotted him in the swamps. If that's where he's been, on the run all this time, then God help him. Ain't much in the way of company out there or much that won't try and eat you or put you on a pike. Got to ask what years of that might have done to his mind. You're here. <laughs> you're here. Oh, thank heaven you're here. Yeah, I've been here for must be years. Trap. See, I, I thought no one would ever come. Philip Carlier, the Castile Cotton Company chief clerk. But, uh, <laughs> sure you already know that, given why you're here. My, my. Can't imagine how it must look. <laughs> oh, no, no time for any of that. Now, if you'll just let me... Oh. I was so hoping for someone to share this with. <laughs> 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 Mm. <laughs> Comes on rather strong the first time, does it not? <laughs> so here's where it gets really interesting. It seems like we're tripping on something. You see my horse run by, how miniature it is compared to the owl and some of these other animals. In this state right here, there's not much you can do. You can't call your horse. You can barely move around. You are definitely in a fog. And what you want to keep in mind is whenever you see Philip Collier running at you, you want to probably go ahead and shoot him. There is no auto aim, so you have to go ahead and free aim it. I didn't really try to see what would happen. I mean, you see right there, he swung at me. I don't know if I killed him before then, but you'll end up seeing a puff of smoke. He'll appear, appear he'll run at you. You want to go ahead and just go ahead and try and kill him. Again, I'm not sure what happens if maybe he comes up to you and then just disappears. Or if he disappears because you shoot him. Obviously, you don't want to waste any lives, so don't really take the chance. And, uh, you know, that's basically how I approached it. This is a one-star mission, I am sure. The harder the mission gets, the, the more people are coming at you, the harder it is to probably kill him. This, uh, this is definitely a unique mission. It's actually pretty interesting, especially the first time through. I'm looking forward to doing it again to see exactly how it changes the harder the mission gets. So you'll be in this state for a little bit. You just kind of have to make the best of it. Keep your head on a swivel. Keep looking around. Whenever you see that little puff of smoke, you know that he's going to be approaching you from there. You go through a series of, I don't know if I lost track of, con you know, maybe seven, eight different times where you have to do this. You can take potions if you need to. Um, you know, and just basically keep fighting him off. Pretty soon you'll notice that the effects on the screen will wear away. Your character will regain its composure. And then you can actually start the mission and then go ahead and search. Pretty soon you will notice uh, when you do this that your minimap pops up. Once that pops up, you're fully good to go. You can call your horse and then you can go ahead and proceed to the locations where you need to go ahead and search to find him. So there's not many enemies, especially in the first couple camps. You're really going to have to watch out for the alligators. They are pretty aggressive and they will chase you down. So just keep that in mind. Tonics, maybe a shotgun, a repeater. Keep your handguns handy, especially if you're not good at free aiming. It'll help you get multiple shots off in a fast amount of time, especially for this first part right here. So I'll be back in a second when we get to the uh, map showing the different locations. So there's three locations to go ahead and search. It's up to you on what order you want to do these. I'm just going with the order that I went. And this first camp, you know, I ended up reaching one guy that was on patrol. I think I've already killed an alligator. 
there's two guys over here and then you'll notice on my mini map something's chasing me and it is an alligator so you know make sure that you have something good to take them down they're probably the most dangerous thing that you're going to encounter in this mission so if you want to turn your eagle eye on to try to spot them once you come into this first location that i came into it's not really heavily guarded i think there was only a couple guys maybe one other alligator that i had to fight off and then that's basically it for this first camp so doesn't seem too much action going on in this first one again if you want to turn your eagle eye on just so you can see some enemies or alligators incoming from the distance we end up making our way to the fast travel area over here at Lagra. again a couple of enemies I think I've already fought off a couple of alligators and you see one right there on the road so I would concentrate on the alligators first as they pose the most threat most of these enemies are gonna have either a knife a machete or you'll notice you're getting shot at with some arrows so it doesn't seem like there's much at least on the first star level to really do much damage to you so concentrate on the alligators first would be my you know my advice for you as they are probably going to be the only thing that's going to be much of an obstacle for you you probably want to stay on your horse just to avoid the alligators but you know you can play it the way you want to play it and uh you know we're gonna cut through a lot of this because like i said it was about a 15 minute mission but i don't feel like making a 15 minute video where there's a little bit of time for me traveling from here to there so after you end up clearing out these guys you still are getting shot with arrows you basically at this point need to find philip i ended up finding him at this peninsula here just a little to the east of the fast travel and there's a couple guys out here <clears throat> also a couple of alligators so again you know approach this the way you want to you can go ahead and tie him up and then try to take out any of the alligators or enemies first and then make your getaway with him once you do make your getaway though there's not really much in the way of you know anybody coming after you or any kind of danger you basically just take him to saint denis take him to the jail and that's really going to be it so again biggest thing to worry about are the alligators that's why i like having my pistols just because of the fire rate you know you could also go ahead and use a shotgun your repeater it's really up to you i just really like to use my pistols anytime you go through the water or the swamp make sure you turn on your eagle eye just in case you can see those little um you know animations of steam rising up from the water that'll let you know that there's an alligator there so at this point he's running off not really much else to worry about except for some alligators that might pre be pursuing you so just go ahead and lasso him throw him on your horse and then make your way to Saint Denis. You should be good to go. I think this mission is pretty interesting just because the cutscene was extended. There was a little bit more interaction with the actual bounty instead of just, you know, that lady comes on and does the voiceover and gives you the brief background of him. This one you kind of interacted with him. He ended up poisoning you or whatever the hell he threw in that pot, his little magic brew. And then you had that psychedelic stage in the first part where everything was distorted and then you had him you know playing tricks with you so that was a pretty cool aspect to this mission i like i said i can't wait to do it again just to see how much more intense it gets as the stars go up but at this point he tells you a little story he's trying to tell you that he's dead and he's not him and you know you got the wrong guy and there's no point in taking him in and you know just all that stuff so you just take him to saint denis take him to the jail and you're pretty much good to go and that's really going to be it for this mission you can definitely do this on your own you know the, like i said there's there's not much danger not many things that are really going to cause a threat to you except for the alligators or if you're on foot and you get sidetracked or distracted and you end up getting sliced up by one of these maniacs with a machete that's really going to be it for this mission i ended up getting over 650 bounty xp 525 xp 65 dollars and 24 gold nuggets so in the comments if you've done this let me know what you think if you've done it on a higher level also let me know how much more intense it is appreciate you guys watching and i'll see you guys next time